Hey, what's up everyone? It's Carson Rock 35 and welcome back to another episode here on Pokemon Minecraft Adventures. So today we take on an awesomely powerful Shadow Dragonite, which I don't think is all that awesome. And we have to solve a bunch of riddles. Like, what is going on? Okay, guys, if you remember last time we fought the Shadow Snorlax that was here after entering the Shadow Layer. Now it is time for us to defeat this Shadow Dragonite. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We're going to start off with our boy Blissey here and go with Ice Beam because it's super effective and we should survive just one single hit because it's or not. Are you kidding me? A assault vested bli Okay, it was a critical hit, so double damage. But assault vested Blissey couldn't survive that. That's insane. Okay, let's go ahead and go with our boy Jolteon here. Mainly because of massive, massive damage. That's what we're going for. Thunderbolt, let's go. There we go. That's super effective. How much is that going to do? That did nothing to the guy. And EQ is going to finish off our Jolteon right away. God dang it. All right, next we're going to go ahead and send in our boy T-Tar here. This is going to be interesting. Let's go with our, boy, our Stone Edge here. This should be the crate work. I don't know if we're going to survive this earthquake or not. It's going to be interesting. Yes, we survived one. All we have to do is land that Stone Edge. Perfect. Come on, how much is that going to do? That did great damage. I will take it. Out of everything else so far, I will take it. So let's just go ahead. And it doesn't matter what move we use next because Earthquake's going to finish off our Tyranitar. If we can keep up this pace... We should be fine, but we are down uh, almost all of our Pokemon now. So let's go ahead and let's pull in our boy Charizard here. Don't think... I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not. This is definitely going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and do Heat Wave. This is going to do a lot to us. Please don't one-shot us, please. And he one-shot us. Great. So basically, we need bulk and speed Pokemon. We need to be able to take either one hit or go first. Those are our options here. I don't think we're going to defeat this Dragonite on this go-around. But one more go around and I think we'll be okay. Let's go with Thunder Fang. It's our best move, Shadow, whatever it does, Shadow Rush. And we survived it. Come on, Thunder Fang. Do some decent damage here. And that did nothing. It basically just did the damage his leftovers does. So that was pointless and useless. And that's great. So we need to switch out our Gliscor. Because Gliscor is not going to have any damage on this Dragonite. So there's no point of having him. And all we have left is our boy... Blastoise, who's not going to be able to finish off a level 125 half health uh, Shadow Dragonite. We can try, though. We can use Hydro Pump if we survive. Come on. No, and we get one shot. This is going to be tricky. Okay, guys, we're going at this again. Let's go ahead and start off with our boy Stone Edge with Tyranitar here. We should live one EQ. One. Yes, there we go. Come on, Stone Edge land. There we go. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. That did not nearly as much damage as i remember it being yeesh oh god okay well it doesn't matter what we use next so we might as well use stone edge again eq yeah finishes off our tyranitar we saw that coming so next we're gonna send out our boy jolteon because we're just getting anyone we know can do damage out of the way because at this point it's just damage 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 let's go thunderbolt let's see how much this is gonna do it should do a decent bit there we go perfect Thunder ugh, EQ is going to finish this off, though. We know that. You know, I probably should have started with this, but we're going to go in with Crobat now. I, I, I purely brought it in because of Confuse Ray, and I don't know if it's going to help us or not. I mean, it might. Maybe. I also have a Sky Plate on him, so maybe I should go with Acrobatics. I might outspeed. Let's go with Acrobatics. No, he Shadow Rushed, and he's going to one-shot us, isn't he? Yep, so we don't even get a move off with Crobat. See, this is the issue here. Tyranidar can live 1 HP, and everyone else gets one shot. Jolteon only gets a move in because he legit can <laughs> go first. That's the only reason. And I can't have multiple Pokemon, so... Of the same type, at least. I can't have two Jolteons. It's already told me that, so I can't try it. And he, there you go. He's gonna one-shot our Blastoise. So, here's the thing. This is... I don't know what we're gonna do here once again. I was super, super stuck before. I couldn't get past some of the Alakazam because it was all RNG. And now I can't get past this guy. Okay, let's go with Thunderbolt here. EQ... Should've one-shot us. I don't think. Maybe. Okay. Super effective. I guess he can one-shot us. I don't even know anymore. But look, this guy's healing up anything we've done. So now we gotta send in Charizard, who's also gonna get one-shot. Guys, I don't know if I can beat a Shadow Dragonite with any Pokemon that I have at all. Because I think it's gonna have to be all speed and damage. So I'm gonna switch up the team here for strictly speed for the most part, I think. Um, and that's what we're gonna go with. Because we know our... Jolteon can out speed, but Crobat can out speed, so that gives us our speed definition of what we need. Okay, guys, we're trying this again. I brought in a, a different set of Pokemon here. It's all about speed that I basically went on, so let's go for it. Okay, so Psychic, it's our best move. There we go. We went first, too. That's gonna be decent damage. Okay, that's about the same as everything else we've hit so far. We know he's gonna die in one shot, because 
there's no way Alakazam could live anything, no matter what it was. So next, who do we want to bring in? Uh, let's just bring in Espeon. We're gonna see how Espeon does. Espeon is our next fastest outside of Jolteon, so let's go ahead and go for another Psychic here. Yes, we went first too. Okay, so 342 is not fast enough for our boy to move, but 349 is fast enough to go first. So there's like that seven speed difference. I think it to be 345 plus to move faster than this Dragonite. So next, let's go ahead and bring in our boy Jolteon. We've got him down to just around half HP so far. And you know what? Let's go for Thunder. Come on. Yes. And we land it too. Perfect. How much is that going to do? Nearly finished him off. That is beautiful. So now all we have to do is land a single hit. That's all we have to do. Come on, Tyranitar here. Even if Tyranitar can't land this Stone Edge, right? We should be able to kill him because of Sandstorm. Actually, Sandstorm with leftovers might counteract each other. So let's go Stone Edge. Come on. You're going to survive the EQ unless it's a critical. All we have to do is land the single Stone Edge you have to. Stone Edge, and it misses. Of course it missed. The only time I need it to land, it misses. I mean, I need to land every single time, but jeez, the most, one of the, every single time it's the most important moment for Stone Edge to land, it always misses in that most important moment. Every single time, and it's so upsetting. Okay, so all of these guys, Victory Bell and Lantern. Lantern, we know, is not going to do anything. We're going to send him out here, but it's literally pointless. Let's go with uh, Thunderbolt. Doesn't matter. EQ is going to finish us off in one single shot. Anyways, I don't know if Victory Bell is going to survive. I have no idea. Victory Bell is kind of a, an up and air throw. I kind of just sent out there. So we're going to send it in, and we're going to go all out. We're going Leaf Storm just in case we survive. Let's go. Let's see how this does. Shadow Rush. If we just survive one hit, that's all you have to do, Victory Bell. And no, Victory Bell couldn't survive. Okay, so we have the solution. Now we just have to go for it over and over again. Wasting more of my money to teleport back here because you can't leave unless you teleport to spawn and teleport back to Kogre Academy. Okay, guys, give this another shot. Let's go all in Psychic once again on this Dragonite. We already know how this first bit is going to play out. Psychic, one shot. Psychic, one shot. Thunderbolt, one shot. It's the best thing we can do. There's nothing else we can do to get around it in the first place. Actually, we're going to go ahead and send in Victory Bell here because I want to see if we can land it and live a hit. We couldn't last time, but, you know, maybe if we get lucky, we're going to throw a Poison Powder up there. Shadow Rush, just maybe. No, yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if he was going to live one or not. I mean, he was probably one of our next special defense mons. No, he wasn't. Wow, he's just... He's, he's just nothing at all. He can't take any hits. That's something. Okay, come on in, Jolti on. See, he's he's recovering health, which is the biggest issue to all of this. And Thunder, yes, it landed again. Perfect. And we got the paralysis this time. That's beautiful, because that's going to cut his speed in half or something like crazy. So maybe we can actually get some extra moves in or something too. That is really interesting. I don't know how this is going to play out now that, that we got that off. So let's bring in our boy Espeon here. We already know that he's going to go first, which is fine by us. If we can get the paralysis and he not move, that would be key to us. Come on, Psychic. There we go. Nearly finished him off. Shadow Rush. Nope. And that's going to finish off our Espeon. Yep. Okay, we saw that coming. So we're not going to send in our Tyranitar till last, though, which actually, I guess, is just only one more Pokemon after this because we want to see if we can get anything else on there. Thunderbolt, let's go. Yes! Yes, we went first because of the paralysis. Finished off the Dragonite. There we go. Hmm, I wonder how I can open this door. Investigate the door at the end of the hall. I wish if you could unlock this door, you must solve the correct riddles. If you answer the riddle correctly to unlock the corresponding room in each room, you may. If you answer the riddle correctly, you will unlock the next room corresponding. In each room, you will find the object that was the answer to the riddle. Once you find it, you may move on to the next riddle. The first riddle you must answer is this. Solve the riddle. What round object has to be broken before you can use it? What round object has to be broken before you can use it? And the answers are in the rooms? What round object that must be broken before you can use it? Slash egg? Whoa, room one has unlocked. Complete the room parkour in room one to get the egg. What? Oh my god. I literally just typed slash egg because I was like, what's the thing in Pokemon that that cracks, but you, you you can have to wait to use it? And that was literally a Pokemon egg. And there's going to be parkour in every room, isn't there? Oh my god. This is going to be so bad. Parkour is not my speciality. Oh, this is going to be momentum parkour, isn't it? I'm going to have to keep going to be able to do this. Okay, let's get this lined up and keep it going. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Is This is a, what, a three blocks and one up? Okay, I landed it. I landed it. I don't like this at all. Oh, so they give you a little checkpoint here? That's nice. I like that. Okay, let's see if we could do this. Oh, okay. I almost did it. I did the first one. We can do this. 
Do -do -do -do. Oh, I was hoping I could just sprint through it, but that's definitely not the play here. So let's try this again. Oh, no. It, I hate head bouncers. It's just all about timing. Okay, there we go. Landed it. Okay, let's go ahead and wait. No, I didn't jump in time. Ugh. And there's a slime parkour next, which I'm not excited for. Okay, there we go. Landed it. And oh my god, this one's gonna be so annoying. Yes, there we go. Okay. You know, if I mess up, not ladder parkour, if I mess up any of this, this is gonna be intriguing. Intriguing? Intriguing? That's a word, alright? Oh my god. I hate, I hate ladder parkour so, so much. So wait, I have to jump from here or here to get to there and bounce up? What? Okay, yum, jump. There we go. Okay, we landed it. My game lagged there for a second. I was freaking out. Oh my god. Okay, I think it's easy if we just jump to this one. There we go. Jump to this one, please. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. How do I? Yum. Oh, I hate parkour. This is so scary. So scary. Okay. How am I supposed to do this? Yum. Okay. I got the egg. I got the egg. I'll teleport it back. Hmm, it seems that one was too easy. The second riddle is, if this type of yellow plant that can grow very tall, this is a type of yellow plant that can grow very tall, slash sunflower? Room number two has been unlocked. Complete the maze in room two to get the sunflower. Okay, that one was really easy. So these riddles are better than that first one. Uh, a maze. Okay, sunflower's in the middle. So let's just, let's just go for it. I, Pokey finds fairly decent at the mazes. You can't like stick to the left wall or anything like you would usually do in a maze. It doesn't quite work that way. But at the same time, they're usually not too, too complicated. You can figure it out pretty easily if you don't lose track of where you are which you know usually about 30 seconds more and i i lose track of where i went so let's go this way yes more this way um oh my god okay let's check out the very end of the hall first okay that's a dead end so let's now check this way okay and let's continue this path ooh 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 ooh, ooh. Oh, we're getting closer we're getting closer i think we're here i think we're i think we're right here we're somewhere close there we go come on oh no that's a trick it, it literally tries to tease you I think we're there, because we're, we're right here. There we go, sunflower, yay! We got it. That one wasn't too difficult. No, no, it wasn't. Riddle number three is, if it falls from the sky a certain season and it's cold, what is it? Wouldn't that just be slash snow? Wow, that one was so, I thought that, you know, the very first riddle to get in here was so much harder, but I guess it was really easy once you thought about being a shadow layer. Complete the parkour. Is there going to be two parkours and two mazes? Oh, God. And I don't like this start to a parkour all right. You know what? Let's just go here to start off with. That's much easier of a jump. Okay. And let's see if we can make this. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Now we're up to the point where they actually give us checkpoints and whatnot, which is very nice. As long as we don't miss the jump there. Wow. I am struggling with this jump. And great. I messed it all up. Okay, guys. So I finally made it up onto here. So let's go ahead and... Yum. Oh my god, I think I have to run through the entire thing to do it. Oh my god, this is not gonna be fun. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we're back to this jump here. There we go. And yum, finished it. Okay, we made that one. Let's keep it moving here. Oh my god. Okay, some more ice parkour, which I am not happy about at all. I don't like parkour in, in general, let alone it being ice parkour. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We got this onto the Christmas tree type thing. Please don't mess this up. There we go. Yum. Why give me more ladder parkour? I don't want ladder parkour of all things. Okay, I can jump here. Yum. Are you kidding me? No. You oh you made it to the final. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't. I didn't. Th what? Wait. Okay, I'm gonna take it. You have made it to the final riddle. The final riddle may not be as easy as you think. The riddle, the shell can be used as a craft. This shell can be used to craft a conduit. Final riddle, the shell can be used to craft a conduit. What type of shell? Shell what? Slash metal. Slash metal coat. Slash shell dirt. No. What if I just do slash shell? No, I don't understand. Ah, this one I don't get at all. This one makes no sense to me. The shell can be used to craft a conduit. Slash gold. <laughs> slash gold. This literally tells me my gold. Wow. Um, I didn't think that was going to be a thing because of slash bow, but I, I don't know what this is. Is it slash conk? Conk shell? No, I don't understand what this is or how to solve this riddle. Oh my god. Guys, if you have any idea what this riddle is, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and comment down below the answer because that's where we're gonna end it off here. If you want to see what happens next time, make sure you follow all the way through and I'll see you guys all later, Rockstars.
Peace, peace.